Top plays, top plays, top plays. We start with Jones County football kicker Evan West. During the season, this man was Mr. Automatic. Carried that right into the summer. Hanging out at the University of South Carolina, he won the Gamecocks kicking challenge at their specialist camp. Nicely done, Evan, a sniper with the legs. More camp life, Northside's Quentin Lewis putting in work at Florida. Nobody is touching this man's quarterback. Eagle fans, consider yourselves in good hands. Victor Burley has been racking up the offers, and it's because of stuff like this. Dominating in drills at Warner Robins, he just visited South Carolina himself. Move on to baseball. The Savannah Bananas been beaten up on the whole league, undefeated until last Tuesday. That line drive down first brings in two runs to help the Bacon take a lead on Savannah. And uh, Isaiah Magwood shuts the door on any comeback hopes. Bacon hands Savannah their first loss of the year. And a little more sizzling Bacon, this time against the Blowfish. Ryan Leach got a blast. Just over the center field wall. That's some good wood for a home run. But then here's the real home run. The Macon Bacon teamed up with the Shriners Hospital for Children in Greenville, South Carolina to help William Wilson hit his first home run. Wilson is a three-year-old Macon boy with spina bifida, no feeling in his legs. As he rounded the bases, players from both teams dapped him up with high fives and a tunnel down the third base line. He also went home with an autograph bat and baseball. That's what you call a grand slam for your top plays of the week.